The first bagels rolled into the world in Eastern Europe during the 1600s. Exactly why is debatable, but one account is that they were a tribute to the king of Poland. The king was a military hero and a great horseman, so a baker shaped the dough to resemble a stirrup. The Austrian word for stirrup sounds like bagel. You used to get bagels in just two varieties, sesame seed or poppy seed. Today they come in a rainbow of flavors, from nine grain to blueberry to cinnamon raisin to whole wheat sesame. Commercial bakeries make them like this. The first step is to blend all the ingredients in a huge mixer. These include molasses, salt, yeast, flour, sugar, malt flour, ascorbic acid, and enzymes. If needed, workers also add the special flavorings. Raisins or blueberries go in when the mixing's nearly done to avoid pulverizing them. One batch of dough weighs 340 kilograms and makes about 3,200 bagels. They slowly add about 100 liters of water as the ingredients blend for 10 minutes. They monitor the water and air temperatures so that the dough reaches 25 and a half degrees Celsius. That's when yeast activates, enabling the dough to rise later on. A worker uses a thermometer to take the dough's temperature. Too warm and the dough will rise too quickly. Too cold and the dough won't rise enough. Here, workers cut large chunks of dough for raisin bagels into smaller blocks. They'll put these blocks into a machine called a divider. The machine squeezes the dough through small openings to create 105 gram balls. Each of these balls will become one bagel. The divider also distributes the balls into four single files as they emerge from the machine and move along plastic conveyor belts. They're plastic, so workers can clean them easily and often. Next, a machine called a bagel former flattens the balls into strips. This way, the strips can be curved into rings. The curved conveyor belt guides the dough through a tight circular opening with a stainless steel rod at its center. The rod forces the two ends of the strip to join in a circle. This process happens in less than two seconds, before the dough has a chance to dry out. It's the moisture in the dough that enables the ends of the strips to stick together. The bagel rings emerge from the bagel former onto another conveyor. Workers then visually inspect the rings to ensure they came out right. After placing the bagels onto ungreased trays, workers put them in a large room called a proofer for 90 minutes to rise. The proofer is kept at 43 degrees Celsius with 80% humidity. Next, a worker places the trays onto a metal conveyor belt. This conveyor moves the bagels into a huge steam oven about the size of a school bus. Steam makes the bagels chewy and shiny. To ensure the dough develops properly, they maintain air temperature in the bakery at a constant 20 degrees Celsius. And there's no air conditioning to ensure the right humidity level. After baking for exactly 13 minutes at precisely 232 degrees Celsius, the bagels come out of the steam oven. They lost moisture during the baking process, so now they weigh between 10 and 20 grams less than before. To cool down, the bagels move along a winding conveyor belt that snakes through six floors of this 2300 square meter bakery. Bagel making ranges from large commercial operations like this one to small neighborhood bakeries that still make them the old-fashioned way, rolling and shaping the dough by hand and baking them in a brick oven. During the 50-minute journey, their temperature drops to about 37 degrees Celsius, cool enough to package in plastic bags later on. Here, a worker inspects the bagels for shape, color, height, and shine. To help the consumer, a machine pre-slices the bagels almost in half. It leaves a portion uncut, so the bagel sections stick together and stay fresh. Next, workers separate the bagels into groups of six, placing them along another conveyor lined with tiny brushes. These brushes keep the bagels upright as they head off for packaging. A mechanical arm scoops the bagels along, and another blows open the bags and inserts the bagels. This bakery prepares up to 3,000 half-dozen packages an hour for shipping, fast enough to have a fresh bagel land on your breakfast plate as soon as 12 hours later.